Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. You're alive. Okay. Do you want to get close? Because you're going to need to be close. Um, okay. Is there anybody on yet? Are you reading me the comments? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. He just stuffed his mouth full of a candy. I can see it's got caramel in it because he can't quite open his mouth yet, ladies. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm trying to get you so that I can, um, so I can read the comments because I know he's not going to read them to me. Hang on. I'm trying to find you guys live. On mine, it doesn't say that we're live yet. Um, okay, let's go a different way, see if we can find you. Still nothing. Is there anybody on yet? Are you sure you're live? Yes. Okay. Hi, 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 hi. Hi from who? Christy, Peggy, Norma, Sandy, Laura. Okay. Hey, girls, hi. Um, okay, so if you're new to watching us, hi, everybody. Um, so if you're new to watching us on Mondays at noon, we do a Facebook Live where we try to do demos and techniques and different things. Um, just a little bit of education. We think that you're, you, it's always good to be learning something. So today we're going to be doing a demo on um, who was the first one on. And we do giveaways. And we're like squirrels. We can't stay focused. So today's giveaways, we've got two fun ribbons that we're giving two yards of each one to the lucky winners. So who was the first one on, Devin? Can you tell? Laura. Okay, Laura. Okay, Laura, I'm going to give, so you're going to get two yards of these fun fabrics. So Laura's going to be one of the lucky winners. Okay. And then Devin will pull for, for more lucky winners. Um, so just comment if you have questions, because sometimes I get tried sidetracked. Hey, Shirley, it's really good to see you. Um, okay. Um, oh, Norma, I have a question from Friday's sale. Um, did you want the tree kit? Um, for the big um, tree, it was shown at the end. I've got you down for that, but I'm not sure if it was. It was kind of like a half note. Um, hey, Judy, we missed you yesterday at the Zoom. So if you, and Linda, we missed you too. So many of you. Hey, Peggy. Um, so if you um, uh, want to join us on Sundays from 1 to 3-ish, we do a free Zoom. We post the link in Fabric Chick Stitch Along, which you can find on the left-hand side, I believe, of our Facebook page. It's a group. You just um, join that. And then on Sundays, we post the Zoom link. And then the ladies do show and tell. Yesterday, we had a bunch of projects. And um, uh, Carolyn showed us a pumpkin that she did with toilet paper rolls. Um, and so she's going to be doing a demo on that. Um, I don't know. We were going to do it next Monday, but she's got a doctor's appointment. So maybe the Monday after that, but it was super easy and quick. You just tuck your fabric into the roll of toilet paper. Kind of like, you remember how your grandma used to have that crochet Thank you, Peggy. doll on the back? I thought she was going to finish um, talking soon. Can you show me the treat? What did she say? Happy birthday. Oh, Peggy. It is Devin's 18th birthday and I'm making him work today because I needed somebody to video. Um, the tree kit looks like this. from Friday's celebration. So if you haven't ever watched our Fridays at noon, we hold up about 150 items or so, and you comment what you want, and then we put it in these boxes here and ship it to you. So that's kind of what we're doing today, except for we gotta stop real quick to give you a demo. And um, hey, Cindy Thompson, it's good to see you. Um, okay, so hi, Kim, welcome. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is demoing how to thread paint. And um, so we picked this poppy panel and we're going to be showing you um, demonstrations on this every Monday until we find something fun to do with this whole panel. So one of these panels, I'm going to turn into a quick, um, a quick little wall hanging. You can see that it's not got too much thread painting on this sample. We're doing a whole lot more thread painting just for practice. But this, um, this one, all the thread painting actually was done as it was quilted. So this, um, so we're going to thread paint separately and then put it onto a background. And then I'm going to take some of the pieces and um, put them onto the, a jean jacket and bedazzle a jean jacket. How much is the tree? 58. Okay. That's all I need. Okay. 
Oh, so, what did you get for your 18th birthday? Hmm? Um, so he hasn't gotten any. Who asked that? Who asked that? Um, he can vote, yes. Although I don't know. Um, so Cindy Thompson, Devin has not gotten anything for Christmas or his birthdays for several years now because he always wants something so expensive. Like he's not the kid that can say, oh, I want a new pair of shoes for my birthday. Or I'd like, um, I like I told him we could take him to um, Disneyland and he could bring his girlfriend for the weekend, this weekend for his birthday. But he didn't want that because he rented an Airbnb with a bunch of his friends on Friday night. So I'm sure they partied hard. Um, I don't really want to know what went on. Um, but, he, but he would rather do that than go to an all paid trip to Disneyland with his girlfriend and his family. And he doesn't want to go to dinner. He wants us to cook dinner. So we're having dinner at our house. He's a weird kid. He doesn't want to go anywhere, but he always wants really expensive things. So this year he wanted a PS5, a PlayStation 5. How much is it, Devin? $500. $500, probably not including tax. So how many of you spend $500 on your kid's birthday? Disneyland would have been more expensive. It would have been, but it would have been memories, building memories. I'm willing to pay more for memories. I'm not really willing to pay a lot for stupid um, video games. Yes, Cindy, it means you need to buy a lot more fabric. Um, what would, Devin, if you, Shirley says ask for cash, but what would be an appropriate amount to ask for? That's the problem. Uh, is my name on the green poppy? Do we have a green poppy? Oh, Mary, I think you made one of these. Mary, I'm pretty sure you made one of these. But if not, you can come in and we'll make one together. 250. Um 250? I 250 I would give him, but what's he gonna do with his cash? Spend it on a hotel room or something. I don't know. Yeah. 18 year old uh, oh, things. Yeah, a hotel room with his girlfriend. Oh, I don't even want to imagine what goes on. Um oh my gosh, Cindy says you're a sweetheart. Get you a video game. <laughs> a, a video game, not the whole system. Um, hey, Katie. Oh, Katie, do you remember what 202 is? You ordered it, but I haven't found it yet. Otherwise, I have your whole order ready. But I've been looking for 202. Um, so today, Roger, um, Roger told Devin that he has to um, enlist. Because when you turn 18 as a, as a male in the United States, you have to enlist. So that's what he's trying to do today. Um, you're an adult, but you still can't drink. Oh, legally. legally. Um, no, we'll let it, he's gonna, he's only gonna work till one. So he's only working partial day. But I told him when you own the, when you own a business, which he's the inheritor, cause Gracie no, doesn't want it. Um, you have to work every day. I don't even know when the last time is I got, I had my birthday off. Um, okay, so Devin, you wanna scroll for some more winners? Okay, we can have lots of winners today because we're doing two yards of these ribbons and we'll the throw best, them in your girls' baskets. Who had the best birthday present idea? Oh, the best. The best. Uh, ask for a Burger King gift card that you can't use. It's so cute, Katie. So Katie got the kids um, gift certificates just because she loves them and they help out. And, um, and, you know, it takes a village to raise kids. We love you, Katie. But so she got him um, Burger King a Burger King gift certificate and our Burger King is closed 90% of the time because oh, they can't worry. find employees. I used it in Carson. Oh, I think okay. I have a $17 balance left. Okay. He's almost gone through it, Katie. He might need a new one. Uh, am I still taking somebody? Oh, Mary Beattie says $18 and a birthday cake. I think that was. Just... Oh, Christy, you guys are, you guys are so brutal. Mary. Get him the PS5. You only Mary. turn 18 once. Mary. Mary, Mary. who? Hi, Diana. Mary Beatty. Okay, Mary Beatty, you're a winner of the, the ribbons. Who else? How many did I need to pick? Let's pick five. Quick, five. And remember, uh, girls, Sandy. whenever you win um, any of our raffles, they go into your baskets and they ship when we ship you um, your orders. Cindy Thompson. $1,800 what? Cindy, you're, you're pushing it now. Cindy Thompson won that one. Cindy Thompson, he loves you. Um. So we actually bought Devin a car, which he's supposed to be paying us back for. He got like a souped out Jeep and 
I think so far he's paid $8,000 back of it. And so he thinks it's a lemon and he wants to sell it, but he thinks he gets to keep all the money from selling it. It's to invest in a new car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say when I turned um, 18, my parents didn't give me anything. Um, but I did have a purple gremlin to drive. So, you know, you got to be thankful for the little things in life. I'm sure I looked really good in um, uh, in a purple you. gremlin. Okay, look, here's the ribbons. So we're giving out two yards of each of these ribbons in your baskets. They're like, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half wide. So two um, two yards of each of those ribbons okay. are going into the winner's baskets. Peggy. Peggy. How many do you have? Three? I've got four. You can have like 10. PS5, doesn't that keep him home playing games with friends? Oh my God, Mary Beattie, you're ridiculous. Oh, he, he did pay about 8,000 of the car. My mom had a purple gremlin when I was a kid. It's a death trap. It is a death trap. Do you want to know what? It actually, we were eating dinner one night and there was all this smoke in the front yard. You could see it out of the window while we were sitting at the dinner table. The gremlin had caught on fire in the um, driveway. Uh, Diane Sabo. Oh, Norma, I like that. No, uh, Norma got a alarm clock and a suitcase for her 18th birthday. Okay, pick more, Devin. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, Katrina, how are you? Oh, Diana had a Pinto, Christmas green Pinto. Those were the days, I'm telling you. Uh, Hold my order, do you still want apples? Yes, I always want apples. <clears throat> Diana has a... Uh, Linda had an orange gremlin. Um, um, okay, girls, I'm writing it down as fast as he says it. Christy Lee. Christy Lee. Yeah, okay. You want more or no? Okay, wait, let me go back. I, I got, missed some. Um, Katrina says, happy birthday, Devin. 18s are big here. The PS5 is cheap compared to a big party we would have put on. I know. Well, I would have taken him to Disneyland for the weekend, but he doesn't want to go. It's like when I took him to Hawaii for the week, he literally stayed in the hotel room playing video games. I wanted to do one thing. What? Go on the submarine. Oh, he wanted to go on a submarine and Gracie wanted to go parasailing. So we forced him to go parasailing. Poor kid. Um, he didn't win rock, scissor, paper. Uh, my family has convinced me that we have to go to Disneyland for my birthday next week so the boys can have uh, the memory. Exp I know. Diane it's all about 72 Mustang. It's all about building memories. That's what I keep telling him. In five minutes, he's not even going to be around to build memories with us. So take him to, to Disneyland, Dorothy. You'll have fun. Dougie says, pay off his car and get him a new one. Dougie, you are, <laughs> Dougie, you're supposed to be on my side here. Uh, his car is paid off. I paid cash for his car, but he has to pay me so that he can learn how to be a responsible adult. Um, but that's I've not really you. working think, very well. I think I've paid you a lot. Um, hi, Phyllis. Hey, Phyllis, do you want to dress up for Friday's celebration? I think we should have a fun holiday. Um. Witches and, and ghouls and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, Devin's turning 18. Devin, flip the camera around so she can see. Michelle, can you? Um, wait, how do I? Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, so here's the ribbon, girls, in case she doesn't Disneyland still have submarine rides. Oh, oh you could do the submarine ride at Disneyland, Devin. Do the submarine ride at Disneyland. Okay, good training, Beth. We did the same thing. It would for have our been kids. cheaper for me to do Disneyland. It would have been cheaper for me too than to buy you a new car. And <laughs> girls, and girls, just tell him how unreasonable he is because he thinks he needs to trade in his Jeep four wheel four wheel drive Jeep for a Mercedes. I keep trying the to tell Mercedes him. Mercedes is four wheel drive. I keep trying to tell him that he's eighteen. He should be he should be aspiring to a Gremlin, not a Mercedes. But he his dad does have um, Diane. His dad does have a '65 Mustang, but it's too much uh, it's too much car for Devin. Devin's already got a lead foot. Okay, here's the ribbons. Did you show him the ribbons? So we're yes. the giveaway today is two yards of each of those ribbons. So we throw those in your okay, basket. You want to take a break and do your demo, and then we'll pick more. Okay. Probably pick like ten already. Okay. So. Here is one idea of what you can do with your bedazzled poppies. So with any panel, you can cut them out and put them onto a background. 
Devin's snickering and reading your girl's comments. Oh my gosh, we've never had these many comments. Because because Dorothy said maintenance on the Mercedes is way too much. I that's what I keep no, telling No, no, it makes me laugh because maintenance on my car has been too much. Well, he's got a lemon right now. So here's one that we did where we, we did they some said, thread they painting. Said, they said a Mercedes Here? when I graduate. Maybe when you graduate from college. <laughs> she said. So here's some thread painting that we did on this panel. And then here in the center, I actually used Fabric Magic, which will shrink your fabric 30%. That's why it's crinkly there. So the Fabric Magic, you lay behind it. If you don't have perfect tension, you don't really have to worry about it because it's going to be sandwiched into your quilt. And you're not going to be washing these. These are for wall hanging. So here's the panel that we're going to be demoing on for the next few weeks. So, so far, I've done a little bit of stitching with the 20 weight glamour thread, which has a metallic and a 50 weight. So it's actually a 20 weight. And then here I have cut up some confetti. So this is what the confetti looks like. You take a layer of wash away, a layer of tulle, and then you chop up into tiny little pieces with your rotary cutter. But I like batiks because they're the same on both sides. You don't have a wrong side. And then you lay it down on top of your tool. And then you put um, you put a layer of wash away on top to secure it. And then you're just going to stitch all around. So you can, I don't know how well you can see the stitching line there. So I just stitched all around it trying to catch at least some of it. But it's still very dimensional. And if you pick at it, it will come loose. See, here's one that's come loose. So I've cut that into tiny pieces and then put it around the center of the poppy to give it a little bit of dimension, okay? So I've three motion stitched here with the glamour. Um, apparently we only have one bobbin that I can find here. So I've got a tan thread in the bobbin, which is kind of poking through a tiny little bit. I don't know if you can see it there. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna go back with my markers um, and just shade that in with a red fabric marker so that you won't notice. And somewhere here, we're going to get cleaned up, hopefully, and be able to um, find where all of our tools are. So this is what this looked like before I started thread painting. Which one are we doing? This, this one. one? Uh -huh. So there's that before we started thread painting, and there's what it looks like afterwards. Can you get them both in the same shot? I don't know. You, I don't know okay. Do. And then, so right now I'm, I've got the green thread in, um, and I'm going to stitch some leaves. I could also use this. Um, so this is a fabric that I put fabric magic behind it. And then, um, I stitched crazy and then it shrinks 30%. So that's this product right here called Fabric Magic. It adds texture and dimension and shrinks, shrinks up to 30%. And you can wash it. So I could cut this out and put this. Um, let's see. Here, see how it's got this little pokey things here? So I could cut that out and make that dimensional. Um, but just to show you, because a lot of you don't know what free motion is, so when you're doing free motion, you want to use um, your free motion foot, which is this one. Some of you have a closed one. I don't necessarily like the closed one because this lets me see a little bit more. Um, and then I put in a 16 needle. So you have options on needles. So here is, uh, this is an assortment pack, which I kind of like because I like to piece with 70s. But a 70 is the is very, very thin. So you can't go too fast um, or you'll snap your needles. Not that I know from experience. So usually if I piece, I piece with an 80, 12. Um, and for those of you who wonder why there's two numbers, the one is the European number and one is the United States number. So it's kind of like when you buy shoes that are 38s or 8s. You got red glamour 20 weight mixed with the thread. Yes. So this is what it looks like in real person. This is one strand. So it's got a metallic and a regular thread and they're twisted around each other. But so it makes a 20 weight. And then where's your Judy? My Juki is still oh, in the oh. box. Devin said that I didn't even have to demo anything today. We could just do this whole live taking it out of the box. 
which I think is a super great idea, except for look at this room. That's all Friday's sale. So I think that we have to get the room cleaned up before we can do it. Look, at, here's, he quit? He had to leave. What do you mean he had to leave? Did he say anything? Yeah. What did he say? His son sick. he had to go. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Okay, so we had a new hire, three hours. <laughs> Oh, is it coming no, back? No, no, no. Don't call it as a quit yet, okay? We got to see if he goes past yeah, eight days. We got to oh, see tomorrow. if he can make it past eight days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happens when I'm on these lives, girls. Three hours. Three hours. Okay. <laughs> In three hours, he cut six pieces. Well, it's confusing. I'm sure he doesn't want to do it wrong, but... I know. Well, I don't know. I know. You were teaching him. He's cutting it wide open. It's no. More I had it folded. I showed him... Okay, so here's the diff. Okay, back on track, girls. We're like squirrels. Um, okay, so here's 116. So that means it's going to have a bigger eye, so it's easier to thread. So when you're using the thicker threads, like the 12 weight and the um, 20 weights, the bigger eye is better. So the bigger the number 16, the bigger the um, the bigger the the needle, the eye of the needle. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I'm all off track. They've got me all discombobulated. I didn't even know he left. Um, okay. So I've so right now I've got a 12 weight variegated thread. Here's what it looks like. And I use this a lot. I use it for pine needles. I use it for a lot of things. And then here is a thread stand that I use. I love this thread stand. Um, it it hold the reason I love it is because it holds two threads. So that a lot of times I can take two 50 weight threads and thread them through my machine and stitch with that. Because when you're doing thread painting, you usually want to see the threads. Okay, so I have the 12 weight um, variegated in to do the leaves right now. So you just want to look at the, um, the leaves and the petals. And like this one, the leaf is starting down here, the petal's starting down here. So you're gonna wanna stitch up from here. You're not gonna wanna start up here where you should have not as much stitching. So as you can see here, we've got heavier stitching down here, and then it gets lighter as you get up to the top of the petal. Um, and then here, we've just got pinned some, um, some of the confetti that we'll stitch on there. And then I might stitch on, I haven't decided yet, but for these little, um, I know you bot botanical people know what to call that, but here I might just stitch on some of this. Um, this is an eight weight dazzle thread. So I might just kind of come in here and tack that down. The, um, the eight weight you have to couch. So for those of you that aren't familiar with couching, couching is gonna be where you just stitch on top of the thread to hold it down. It's too thick to put through your needle. Um, uh, do we still have thread stands? Yes, <clears throat> not to confuse you. Um, we do have thread stands, but not to confuse you, but you can take the heavier weight thread like the eight weight thread and you can do bobbin work. So you can wind it on your bobbin and um, you can wind it on your bobbin and stitch from the back side of your project. For me, that's too complicated and I don't wanna change this tension in my bobbin, which you would have to do, or you would have to have two separate bobbins so that you could have one for, for bobbin work with thick threads and one for your regular piecing. Um, it's too, that's too much for me. So I'm just kind of gonna weave, weave this back and forth and couch it down. And then I'm gonna take it over here. And I'm not gonna do all of them just because you guys just need to get the idea. A lot of you bought this panel in the last couple of weeks so you could kind of stitch along with me. Um, so if you have other ideas, post it on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along. And then I'm gonna just pin, get that pin out of my way. And I'm gonna kind of wind this one back. And you don't have to be exact on top of the where it's printed on the panel. You're just giving kind of an uh, uh, illusion of it being, you know, uh, having the dimension. And then I want to stuff that under there. 
And then I'm gonna make this long enough so that I can stick it under there. So I'm gonna just go a hair over. And then I'm gonna, if I had my Juki set up, I would have a thread cutter automatically uh, built in. But this machine is so old and cheap, it does not. Okay, so just so you can see kind of what this looks like couched on right here. And then see how it's got like a core of thread that's white? That might be distracting to me. So I might go in with my markers and just paint it a little bit. But say like here, it's like a big kind of a knob there. So I might take like a little bit of this and just kind of put it into a knot. You just are adding dimension. All right, Devin, you got any comments? So I'm just gonna- Ouch, question mark, zigzag, question mark. So I don't zigzag, I, I couch it. A zigzag, if you do a zigzag stitch, it's the stitch is gonna be exactly the same and that's too uniform for me. So I do a, um, so I just kind of do a free motion stitch, couching it to secure it. And I would typically pick up my thread from the bottom. Uh-oh. Oh, my whoa, whoa. goodness. So you know, that, like, sounds really bad. Like, you might want to cry when it does that. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches by hand. Um, uh, it says L-O. I don't know what that means. So something's wrong with that. So that might be the demo for today till I figure out what's wrong with the machine or till we get the Juki unboxed. Okay. So that's kind of your quick little lesson on thread painting. Can you guys see that? So we did the petals today. So you just want to go in. Um, although this one we thread painted and we quilted at the same time wherever it is. So you have options. And then let's see, how about like some more winners, Devin? Mm, okay. Oh, Dorothy's so smart. Oh. She says, turn it off and back on. Oh, Kathleen that might work. Rader. Oh. I worry, I, you know what? I worry about that too, Kathleen. Um, I, although I've never sewn over my fingers on a regular domestic machine, but I did so, um, I sewed my finger on the long arm. And if you've ever seen a long arm here, this is what the machine looks like, but on a big frame, it's so heavy, so heavy. And I, the needle went right in between my nail bed and my finger. So I didn't lose a nail, thank goodness. But I, um, but it went in. And so I was screaming at the other end of the shop. I'm screaming for somebody to come help. The worst part is like at that point, you don't know if you should turn the needle this way or this way, or whether it's gonna go more into your finger or out of your finger or, and the machine came off the rack. So it was kind of like dangling there. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. It was, it was horrible. Kathleen Rader. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, is a winner? Yes. Okay, Kathleen Rader. That's good. Cause we haven't shipped your package yet. Although it's ready to ship. Okay, who else? Oh, Michelle. Coburn. Michelle Coburn? Yeah. Okay. All right, who else? Um, Hi, Rosie. Janice. Welcome. Always better late than never. Rosie. Rosie. Okay, girls, do you have any questions about the free motion stitching? And, and Phyllis. And Phyllis. How many more do you want? Phyllis Holmes? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Okay. Unless one more. Quick, one more. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, uh, Sherry. Sherry Saul? Uh-huh. Okay. So those are winners. You guys all get <clears throat> ribbons. We'll put those in your packages. Okay, let's see. I turned it off and turned it on. Um, sometimes you guys are, well, not sometimes. You guys are always smarter than me. Um, okay, so let's see. So, I, so I'm going to get ready for the next demo to do a double-sided leaf so we can have dimensional leaves. But I still want to, even when I do dimensional leaves, I still want to do some kind of stitching underneath to get some dimension. So I'm going to start down here and I'm going to pull it up. Is Cindy Thompson still on? Cindy, if you want to do a demo, we'd love it. And also, if you guys are doing the Hoffman Challenge, um, we just ordered the fabrics for that. So we should have those in pretty soon. 
It's kind of fairy-ish fabric, like woodland fairy fabric. Okay, so I'm just gonna come along here. So free motion, everybody wants to know, do you have a stitch regulator for free motion stitching? And free motion stitching means that you are your regulator. So if you go super slow and take big stitches, you're gonna have big stitches. If you go really fast, then you won't. The Hoffman Challenge, you're gonna have to Google it, but they have five different fabrics. And um, I believe you can make anything with those fabrics. Um, Cindy, I think, has, has entered it, so she would know better. But you only have to use two of their fabrics. And so I'm able to stitch on this. We'll have more information when we actually get the, fa the, the challenge fabrics. But so if you, um, the reason we're able to stitch on this without a stabilizer and it's not puckering is because we've treated it with Tyriel Magic. And I rather treat it with Tyriel Magic than have to deal with, um, than have to deal with a uh, stabilizer a paper stabilizer that gets knotted up and in my way. So I'm just kind of going with the grain of the, of the leaf basically. And I'm using a 12 weight variegated thread. So, um, uh Oh, look at that. We're having all kinds of issues. My needle just fell out. It's like, just like one of those days. Sometimes these demos go so smooth. It's to let me go home, I know it's telling me that Devin shouldn't be at work. Okay, let's see. I'm just looking forward to that steak. Oh, uh, and I made you homemade macaroni and cheese. Um, and I'm going. I gotta go to um, Smith's and get Cool Whip so you can have green salad. It's gonna be like Thanksgiving, and it's not even Thanksgiving. Like, what 18 year old just wants to have dinner at home? So down here on this leaf, it's you can see it's much darker because it's shaded behind the other um, leaves. So if I go in with this same thread, um, I can go in with the same thread for the texture, but I would, if I do, then I would go in with a fabric marker, a dark green fabric marker and shade it in. So see how, um, just for example, I don't have the right color, but just for an example, if you shade something in, you can just kind of go like this and blend it. Um, so you see how you get a little bit of shading so it's not so bright there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but we'll do more shading as we go along so that you can see, um, I'll get the right colors out. And you don't have to stay exactly in the lines you're really just adding texture, okay, girls? So you wanna have a lot of different weight threads. Um, let's see, where's scissors? You wanna have a lot of different weight threads because sometimes you're gonna to wanna to have just a little bit of texture and sometimes you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of texture. So um, just to show you, that's what it looks like. I know, one of these days I'll get, um, this machine, honestly, bless its heart, we've had for probably 15 years. Um, and everybody who comes in uses it. So here's kind of the beginning of what it looks like. So we're just adding texture. And then I'm going to actually cut this out and put it onto some other project. Even though it's super pretty, you could just thread paint it and turn it into a pillow or a wall hanging if you wanted. Um, but I'm going to cut it out because I think I'm going to put it on the back of a jacket. Okay, so that is that. Do you girls have any questions? Okay, one more winner. Poor Anna, she can't be a winner because she's busy cutting fat quarters. Um, oh, Anne Lindemeyer, so they, they had to um, take the, the, here, show this. They had to take, they had to take the needle and physically roll it up out of my finger but they didn't know which way to roll it. So they were rolling it the wrong way and it was going further in. Cindy Gygax one? Mm -hmm. Okay, Cindy Gygax. 
Okay. Here's the list. So we're going to put all ribbon into all of those. Uh, Dorothy Thomas Reed, I concur. Um, I prefer dinners at home. Um, I honestly, I don't like to eat out. We do eat out so much when we're on the road for shows that when we get home, I hate to eat out. Uh, no, Sue. He, apparently his kid is sick. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. I didn't hear him. He talked to, um, I didn't faint, but I felt like I was going to, I thought I was going to throw, like, like I thought I was going to throw up. It was horrible when that was in my finger, but I was renting out my long arm one time and the gal went in to change the bobbin, which I always tell him, don't change the bobbin. I'll do that for you. She went in to change the bobbin and she pushed the motor on and that like her whole finger got caught in the bobbin casing. Oh my God. The I girl did that though one time. Who? You remember that one girl? That's her. She did it. Oh, that was her? Yeah. Like the young girl that was friends with the neighbor lady, no, neighbor girl. No, I don't know about that. A young girl. No, she sliced it off with a rotary that cutter. That was me. Oh, um, I don't know, but somebody put their hand in and then she turned the machine on and the, the bobbin casing rolled and her finger was in there and rolled with it and Trump. I had to get her finger out. Oh my God, that was so, it was horrible. I'm not good in those kinds of situations, girls. Rondi says, happy birthday, Devin. Thank you. Um, Janice, it's super easy, but you do have to practice to get the right movement. Otherwise, you'll when you first start, you're kind of choppy. So if you're kind of choppy, I also recommend having a glass of wine because that will loosen you up. But practice not on your favorite piece. But that's what panels are so great for. If you practice on a panel, you've only invested in a panel. If you practice on something that you've hand appliqued, you're gonna be upset because it's it, it's not gonna be great the very first time. Like look at the thread painting that I did on this one. Look at all this thread painting here on this wool. Can you get up close and show that? That's a ton of thread painting. Okay, so I think that's it. Yes, Janice, you can always do wine first. Um, thank you for videoing on your birthday, Devin. Yeah. Okay, girls. So, um, so we'll do. I'm gonna work a little bit on that, and then I will do another demo on a different phase of it. Um, probably next week we'll do double sided leaves, which are, um, let's see, um, this. This here is a double-sided leaf. Okay. So you, it's just, do, when you do double-sided, you can have things hanging off of your projects. Um, here, we've got a double-sided leaf over here. So this is another one that we've thread painted. This is a double-sided flower. So I just bought two panels and then I took one and I cut it out this and I just used a red on the back. But then for the, I just threw some silks in there and couched them down. This ribbon here is just couched onto the whole project. This is what I used in the center of the poppy right now. And I just couched that on kind of crazy just to give it some interest. And then here we've got some silk ribbons. Um, and this here is another double-sided leaf. So you can have it hanging off of your quilts or your projects. So next Monday, we'll show you how to do a double-sided leaf. But remember to join us on Wednesday at 2 on Wild Wednesday Live Facebook page. Um, there's three of us or four of us vendors that will be doing demos and quick Christmas tips and techniques. So sometime between now and Wednesday, I've got to come up with some great Christmas uh, projects. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to be, but I'm sure they'll be fabulous. Um, so join us Wednesday at 2, and then Friday at noon, we'll have another celebration. So we will see you girls. Let me see. Are there any more comments, Devin? Um, no other Send... than... Okay. And if you ever see anything that we're demoing with and you want us to throw it in your baskets, um, for our regulars, they have baskets that are ongoing always. So just... Um, just let us know if you need anything. We will um, see you soon. Or you can always call us. Devin didn't put our number scrolling, but it's 775-267-0204. If you ever have any questions or want to know what it is that we're doing, just give us a call and we'll explain it to you because I know it's kind of complicated 
it's, we're kind of confused until you get the um, swing of how we, we roll. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.